Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. We've just found the resistance movement in New York City, and we also are getting overrun by Nazis, so they are going up to the roof to wait for reinforcements for EVAC from Anya and the others. They're sending some help. And in the meantime, we need to stay down below and fend off the Nazis until our help arrives. So we're getting directly into the action. As soon as I unpause, we're pretty much going to be shooting. Here goes. Oh, they're not actually aggroed yet, are they? Well, now they are. Shit. Is there health around here? Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, reload, and we just got a weapon upgrade kit. I think the next thing I want to upgrade is... Uh, let's go for the diesel craft work. I don't use it very often, but I think it is going to be pretty important for boss fights or just heavy enemies in general. So let's get supercharge. Hold the trigger to charge up and fire up to five. Blitz and diesel canisters simultaneously. Yeah, so that will be good for... I'm just imagining a situation where I'm hiding from a boss or a heavy enemy behind cover. Charge it up. Pop out real quick and just do shit tons of damage to it and then go back into cover. That could be very nice. Extended tank would be good too, though. It doesn't hold that much. That would double the capacity. Uh, let's go supercharge first, though. In fact, I hear heavy right now! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> is that where my save is? Uh, which one? That must have been my quick save, right? Wow, that's going to be a problem. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, that was not the greatest time to, uh, to save. Jesus. Okay, I made a save down here. Damn it, also not what I meant to do. I think we're okay. Would you stop smiling, Cap? Come on, everybody's off the roof! Alright, I can just go, right? Oh, that's, that's my friends. Fuck. Fighting every motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. White America, though? <laughs> they done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking clan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. 
I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace is always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. And if nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz! You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? You wanna cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting, killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit. Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right. <laughs> what do you think about this, Schmendrick? I think I got you now, my little goylem. Thanks, Hoss. I don't know, Maxilla. Well, well, well. So this is where all the decisions are made. We're gonna need a place to sleep nearby. This room looks empty. Super Smash! Hey, white boy, I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Yes, ma'am. Heck yes. What's up, boss? We sleeping in here. You got it, sister. <laughs> All right, listen up, people. White boy here is gonna show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around, find a place to bunk, get to know the boat folk. And hey, best behavior, you dig? This way. Oh my god, you Wyatt. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in Section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed off the entrance to Section F. Because it's been flooded since the attack. Last woods, you know how to swim? Yep. Maybe this isn't bad. This toilet can handle all sorts of waste, feces, urine, vomit, as you name it. Do you have ass wipe? And by that you mean toilet paper, yes. yes. Of course, we need to mind our rations a little bit, but uh, oh. there's ass wipe in oh, there. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my sweet God in heaven. A working mother flushing toilet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. It's just... Um, <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm just gonna be in here for a minute. Good luck. You go for it. <laughs> What's this? Don't flog it! You think you're smart, huh? Hmm. How about. Yeah. Make sure. No, no, no. Hmm. Oh my god. Make sauce. Did I just hear the moaning in there? Oh. I don't know if I'm just No! No, you can't be you stupid toilet! What did I miss? What the hell's wrong with you, Seth? <laughs> Odd. I didn't think Seth was that sort of person. They never seem to lose their cool, ever. Yeah, so I'm either hearing just like general water sounds or I'm hearing just like constant stream of diarrhea. I can't tell which. Hey, 
need that nuclear warhead from Section F. Go get it, would you? Thanks. I'll take care of Caroline's room, huh? How's that nuclear warhead coming along? I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Oh, yeah. I saw when I was editing the video when I was up there looking at that screen, wondering what was on it. I only noticed when I was editing the video that it says Enigma Terminal above it. I wonder if I have enough Enigma codes to do a thing. Also, what's this? Oh, like a biography, I guess? We know their blood type. Huh. Notable achievements, group leader of the Berlin squad of... Yep, 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 bunch of things. Okay. Good to see you, Captain. Good to see you, too. The top of your head. So can I, like, sit in the seat, or...? Do we still not have enough Enigma codes? I have no idea how this works. Is there like a button to make it come down? Maybe it only comes down at a certain point in the game. Hello, mister. Oh, you're the one who always... Baldo hear about the New York. Very bad place. Speaks in third person. Okay. Section F. Looking for a nuclear warhead. We're gonna have to swim. I was thinking, by the way... The fact that when wearing the suit, Blaskowitz can swim, but can't, uh, like, they still have to deal with their breath, running out of breath very quickly when swimming with the suit. Does that mean that when that thing covers Blaskowitz's head, it's not watertight? Does that mean water is just, like, pouring inside of the suit when you go swimming? How does that work? Let's go check up on everybody. Did you see the new kill house set built in the shooting range? I tried it, but my time was like toilet. It feels not the same when targets not shoot back, yes? Meh. You only make excuses for shit bad shooting, Alessandro. Da cazzo! Me? I am musician, no warrior. I believe his time in Killhouse would be the Vero Fantastico, no? Yes. He is Satan's good, that guy. So maybe the shooting range has been expanded Hello now. Hello to you. Hello. Pleasure, Captain Blaskovitz. Oh. Oh, that's the Section F. I didn't realize that. Well, at least I know where it is now. Now let's go hey, look hey. everywhere else on the ship. Hey, hey. William. The twins are kicking again. I think they can sense when you're near. Head back down to the hidden entrance in the locker room. Grace needs a nuclear warhead from the stockpile in Section F. Brave face, old man. Keep away. What she needs, you can't provide. Hey, man. Good to have new blood on board, Captain. Strength in numbers, yeah? Yeah, grown stronger every day. Ah, yeah, the kill house. So the better score is the one that takes less to get through it. That's got to be running the course. So the top time is 23 seconds. My God. Oh, it's starting. How much time got added to it? Is that from not hitting the targets? Okay, here we go. Doing it for real. Oh, the light goes out. Okay. Gotcha.
Okay, so if you get all of them, you just get no penalty. You don't get any bonus. How the hell did... Was that Shoshana that got the top score? Capitan. How in the hell did Shoshana get 23? My god! Is that even possible to beat? Also, I like the little detail that when I got up here, they were, uh, like, just sitting down as if they just wrote my score up there. That was pretty cool. Okay. Oh. Wow, I think that's about the best I can do. 37 seconds. Yeah, I could maybe on an extraordinarily good run, I could get to the point where I'm at the end of the shooting part and I'm walking up the ladder in the same time that Shoshana did it. But then you got all that time of crouching down and actually getting here to hit the button. And there's I I don't I literally think it's not even possible. Hey, for me to get 23. There's no way. What smell is that? Boldo was in the corridor by the cantina when he smelled a foul stench. I thought Boldo told you when you were working in the hangar, my friend. No. Boldo was silent as a mouse. He usually is around me. I tried telling him the story of how I survived the Normandy massacre. That I might as well have been talking to a brick wall. The corridor is next to section 66G. We sealed the section off because of a gas leak. Maybe something is rotting inside. You gonna look into it, buddy? <sighs> I suppose so. How long until he released the, di the dice again? Five. One and a four. So, is that a side quest, I wonder? Figure out what the hell's causing the smell? Yes, hello, Captain. There's so much food here. Hello, my friend. Hello, Captain. More potatoes. Can I feed them to the pig again? Sometimes I think of Cosmo, my dog in Italy. I miss Cosmo. I miss my home. Very funny with all the new people on board. If there's heart room, there is ass room, as we say in Sweden. Let's head to section F. Grace, you read? Going fishing for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted. Beavis Hammer, section F. I wonder how they're going to turn this into the whole adventure, you know? Because I've already been to this general area before, so something interesting must be here. And probably not more Nazis, but then again, why do I have my guns out if I'm not going to be shooting? Her voice. 
Her glory. It boggles me. Oh, that was a map. What the hell are these things doing in here? Blaskowitz, got a heads up for you. Looking at the engineering map, there seems to be a defense system guarding the nuclear warhead stockpile. Hmm. I count four hibernation sarcophagi in the vicinity. Be ready for anything. Brace out. Hibernation sarcophagi. Is that going to be those super soldier things? I just look at the lighting. It looks so good. I see that. Can't fit in there. Can't see shit. Need some light in here. Oh, enemies are definitely going to come out of there. That's definitely one of those sarcophagi things. out of ammo. I need health and armor. All right, doing pretty good now. Now that I finally got these laser weapons again, there's probably something I can melt with them, huh? Some piece of machinery I'm jumping on, or oh, you can refill the diesel fuel thing sometimes too. Cool. And if you still copy, this is the conclusion I've reached. Whatever happens, she can't know she'll be rearing our babies alone. It's my burden to bear until it's hers. How are you so sure that you're gonna die, Blaskowitz? It's too long of a hallway for there not to be a big enemy along the way. Plus there's a charger over there. God, the water's so good. You can even see the light blue glow from that charger reflecting in the water.
something was showing up as red here, like it was destructible. When it was aiming at this door. It just showed up like- yeah, what is that? Oh, I think there's an explosive here in this corner. Ah, oh, this is what I was missing. They just smolder after you. Light them on fire. With a laser. Grace, I found the nuclear warhead. Tip top. Bring it to the old man. Set was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Shimshin, it's not the Satsuki. I mean, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. A little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. Set. Mm hmm. Set. Yes, Mr. Wyatt. Hey, have you ever talked to God? God. You still tripping, Wyatt? Yes, many times, many times. Oh, wow, man. And what'd he say? Still waiting for him to get that. Why? Oh, I was just hoping you could help me figure out something I saw earlier. Yeah, what did you see? I saw highways in the sky, you know? Don't touch it! Light just reaching across galaxies, and it, it was like these... These symmetrical patterns of, of color, and I was just blasting through them at the speed of light, and mm -hmm. it, it was like reality. It, it warped in on itself, and it, somehow I was breaking through these dimensional barriers, and I could see everything, uh -huh. except I, I had ceased to exist. I mean, I was, but I wasn't I. This is very interesting. And, and from my vantage point, there were like these, these patterns of light that formed these roots that, that reached out into this infinitely colossal shape, like, like a geometric tree that was just bigger than the entire universe. And, and then I, I heard something. This, this voice just thundered at the center of my awareness in uh -huh. this, this being, this shape, it spoke and it just said one word. What? Visitor. Visitor. Just that one word. Visitor. I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Amazing. This is, it's a dot. The Tensophilus. Oh, yeah. The Ten. What? These visions. How did they come to you? Well, like in, in a dream. In a dream. This is astonishing. This is astonishing! I have very little books on this subject in English. Oh, 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 oh. Now, listen to me very well. Study this very well. This is really important. Any revelation. Any observation, anything, come to me. You understand me, Ingolin? Thank you. Right on, Seth. Right on, Mr. Wyatt. Oh, thank you. Right on. I thought that was just going to be a one-off joke kind of thing, but... Then it turns serious. I wonder if it's gonna actually lead to something. Bet you have lots of weird dreams, right, Cap? All the things you've seen. 
Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.